Welcome back into KHOU 11 Sports Extra. And with the Women's World Cup going on up in Canada, I thought this would be the perfect time to bring Brian Ching on to talk about World Cup soccer. Brian, of course, a member of the U.S. national men's team. He also helped lead the Dynamo to a pair of MLS Cup titles. But now he's a managing director of the women's team, the Dash. Welcome, Brian. Thanks for having me. It's been a while. Great to see you, buddy. Yeah, now that you're a, a front office guy, <laughs> you're not down on the pitch as much. I want to talk about this because you have a number of Dash players at the World Cup, both on the U.S. team and Can Canadian team. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, we have three players on the American team. We have Carly Lloyd, Morgan Bryan, uh, Megan Klingberg, and then we have three on the Canadian team who just won today, 1-0, uh, Aaron McLeod, uh, Alicia Chapman, and then Lauren Sussman. And how about this? You mentioned... Uh, Klingenberg. Me Megan Klingenberg, what? she made the big play against the Sweden. What a save. You know, that, that, that saved us uh, basically... It got us a point that game. Uh, she's probably the smallest person on the field, but made the biggest play. Uh, everyone was joking about her, about her ups, her, her hops on that play. But, uh, you know, it's a good thing she's on her line, she, and she was very humble about it. She said, this is my job, this is why I'm on the line. Why put me here? And I made the save when I need to. That was awesome. And everybody talks about her competitive nature. That's also going to help you on the local front oh, right yeah, here. Yeah, we can't wait till our, our players all come back on July 12th. Um, you know, that's going to be our big game. Welcome back our World Cup stars, and hopefully uh, the U.S. players will come back with the World Cup trophy. Okay, so Megan made the big play there. In today's Canada versus Switzerland match, three dash players, including goalkeeper Aaron McLeod. You, you mentioned she was named player of the match. Yeah, I mean, you watch this save. This is unbelievable, and this is kind of saves that she's made oh. for us a number of times over the years. And, um, you know, that, that really saved the game right there for them, and uh, she's that kind of player. She steps up in those big moments. She loves those big moments, and... Uh, obviously, uh, she rose to the occasion on that one, you know, and then there's Lauren Sesselman who he who's had the ball out on that, who had an excellent game. Uh, she kind of was struggling, I think, kind of going into uh, this game, but she came out and had a solid game, and, and so did Aaron, and now they're moving on. At the end of the day, who's going to win? Wow, that's a tough one. You know, I think there's three front runners right now. The U.S. is obviously a front runner, Germany, and then France. I think those are the runaway three favorites right now. All right, now in the meantime, your Dash team just kept winning last night. They were back on the pitch, and they took care of business, even though all these women are gone with national team. So let's take a look at that. Uh, Jessica McDonald scored again last night. Yeah, we're actually on a five-game unbeaten streak, uh, you know, and, you know, we... This is kind of unheard of us for us. You know, this is only our second year, but the players are doing extremely well without some of our best players. We're missing six of our players, but we have, uh, you know, an unbeaten streak of five. So that means the players are really stepping up that are here. Uh, Jessica McDonald, who scored a great goal. Kelly Ojai scored another great goal last night. Uh, Unbelievable goals, you know, goals that I don't think I've scored in my career. So <laughs> I'll give them a lot of credit. They've stepping up, making big plays when they should, and... Uh, it's, it's fun to watch. All right, real quickly, how about FIFA? We, we all knew about the corruption. We've heard about it for years. You were involved with the U.S. national team. You played internationally. What do you think was going on with FIFA? You know, I think, unfortunately, this is something that anybody who's played soccer uh, knows about, that, that FIFA has always had, you know, there's whispers here and there. And the, the fact that it's finally coming out, I think it's a huge opportunity for uh, FIFA to clean itself up, you know, and I think that... Um, if it does, if it goes about it the right way, um, it's great, you know, but unfortunately, you know, we got to get through this mm -hmm. bad period before you can actually get to something good. So All right. everybody's got their fingers crossed. Hopefully a growth time. All right. Yes, Brian, so great to see you, buddy.